So yes, I'm back with the Emotive Insight now supported by my nice Android app and <laughs> what you see right now, uh, let's sum it. Uh, so let's we get uh, here, uh, where are we? Delta waves, well, it gets five minutes. And this is going to be a great video because not only I did I add the Emotive Insight, but I also improved greatly uh, on the feedback and on my user interface. And therefore, uh, now you can um, really should be able to use it for brain, uh, mind control. So if you want to control something, a robot or a wheelchair with, uh, with your mind, uh, then uh, my app, uh, which is down, uh, it's, you can download the APK file. Uh, I cannot uh, upload it to the Play Store because the um, news and uh, inside libraries that I have, these are old ones, uh, and, and uh, I don't have this uh, 60, 46, 64 bit versions. So you have to, okay, but um, you can download it. And if you have, uh, uh, um, no, that the Melon Amuse or a Motive Insight or think to buy one, then you really could make scientific. <laughs> Uh, research with, 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 with my app. So, um, okay, uh, I want to show you what's new. And um, so, okay, here, uh, I, I think I will stop this because I did all, already record uh, a session, uh, 10 minute session with two minute sections uh, a few days ago. And, and so, um, yeah, we can uh, stop this, disconnect. And then we go to saved sessions. And here, I, I, my head is too big for, for this thing. <laughs> really, it uh, should be more comfortable. Uh, okay, um, you see here right now, there is there are some files that contain EEG and bands. And um, so this is also, I will show you these. I, I store these uh, files at as wave data. <laughs> And so here that's a Muse, uh, which contains real-time EEG and the band data. And so this then in the end gets uh, packed into a zip file and uh, so uploaded uh, to, to a cloud so we could share our, our research. And uh, what I'm showing you right now, that's only here this wave data. And so, okay, let's click the play button and we crash. <laughs> yeah, okay, J just uh, because here yeah, it's, it's um, I always rent, <laughs> rent uh, for, for these uh, stupid uh, fucking Android. So you see, if I search all my project for runnable, that's a threat safe programming. I get more than 100 <laughs> times a, a threat is started. You see, that's a stupid fucking Android where you for, for and I, I think if you search for handle, uh, then you get uh, how, how many? Uh, 11 matches, yes, but really the, the runnable is. <laughs> and, and, and that's, um, maybe in the end, I will say something about uh, about this shitty, because uh, if you really, let's start it again. If you really have, un, uh, have understood the beauty of object-oriented programming, then you all noted that uh, multi-thread-safe programming should already be, have been, solved by object, uh, a new language object. Okay. <laughs> so, um, save sessions because that's, uh, it's crashes because some uh, brain interface is uh, cannot be stopped. And so now we are started. Then we go to the neurofeedback. And here right now I have two sections uh, here below. Uh, that's the sleep sections and the thing section. That was um, the way I recorded uh, the session. And so, uh, don't need to um, see the, I turn off the speak, but activate the neural feedback and then go to graphs because then these two minute sections, then they show up here. And, and so you can later see uh, at, at which place you changed your mind and how this showed up. And yeah, uh, again, you can uh, sum up overall or not. These are the five channels of the amount of insight you better average over 30 seconds at least uh, or 60 seconds you see and and just explain this again 
Um, this is from, from the beginning. So at the right, you always still see the real-time data, but um, then uh, when, when the graph is uh, drawn, then up to 30 seconds, these data get um, a average. And so after now, after 30 seconds, and this is a 60 seconds window. So uh, by the time um, that the graph is halfway through, then you really get the full average over 30 seconds. This is important to, to see when you are um, coming to a new section, uh, then this um, also takes um, the new section up to 30 seconds, um, go into the average of the previous section. I will show you later. Uh, and so what, uh, yeah, let's uh, take the, the fit. Then that's the, all the time it's recorded. And what's very nice now here, if you click, then this is uh, the average over this section. Yeah? And, and now you see, for example, uh, the, the head channel, it's very different. <laughs> Probably because the contact it's very hard to, to go through, through the skin. And now if you click save, uh, then uh, this uh, setting is updated to your, uh, to your nerve feedback. And so here you see now the beta one in the middle. <laughs> so if I load uh, the here, then I, and, and I only show you this, then this is um, specific you can now you can really for each channel you can make a special neurofeedback yeah and 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 the, the cool thing is that you can um do just um in the first step you you just um say okay for example this is a forehead uh, i have to go back here and so uh, now you see already as uh, the second section uh, appeared so we are two minutes uh, in, in, in playback and that now you already see some differences yeah and so you say uh, for example um, I want now only the these are the forehead channels and um, so if you now um, click both then you get the, uh, these horizontal lines as an average over the forehead channels for example if I take the behind the ears channels then it's a bit different you see now here the alpha in the sync mode so the alpha wave was a bit higher than uh, the, the delta uh, you see delta and alpha uh, whereas in the sleep uh, section uh, i try to have different mind state and there the uh, the delta was a bit higher so and now you say save the uh, that's the behind the ears and to to my um, session and uh, the front head to my session. And so if you go back to the neurofeedback, you see then you have uh, here this now, um, that's the most uh, prominent line. So you see the middle is uh, the beta one that was um, really, as you've seen, uh, the front head. And here now the, the both are the delta delta, uh, still both uh, showing you the, the, the most prominent is uh, let's load this yeah so it's still the data is the most high but you see uh in the uh, the behind the ears channel it was a bit different and so let's go back to the graph that's another thing about this shitty android <laughs> said uh anytime i i choose a new folder then uh, the fragment is uh, the view is completely recreated uh, so again, you can here see the average. So um, you can see that, uh, yeah, the two front channels were quite, uh, in the, um, quite the same. And that's another thing to <laughs> comment. Uh, you see, if the quality of the contact of, of the sensor is that you get the same data, well, that you do not really need <laughs> two channels and it could still it takes a Good old neuro, neuro, uh, mind wave, neuro sky with one channel. <laughs> so of course, the goal is that you um, to try really to make a specific feedback for each channel. Uh, but you see here, that's behind the ears. Okay, uh, looks like good contact. But again, you see the, uh, the, the top channel was totally different. Uh, so that's, that's why I take off. 
uh, take out of uh, the, the, the top panel, do only a verge over these. And <clears throat> now I uh, will wait uh, six minutes for the session to complete. And um, so that you uh, then, then I will discuss it and, and ex explain you how this um, now could be used uh, to, uh, to, 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 for mind control. And here uh, in the wall, I can show you yeah, that was here my. <laughs> it's quite nice. So I have a, a, a brain computer interface, uh, a class, and then I derive uh, different uh, classes for the inside, the melon, and is a file feedback. So I'm um, quite happy with, with the code uh, for, for now. And yeah, here that's my download page <laughs> robosoft.de slash EEG Center. Uh, because uh, it, it should be the center for all these different devices. You see, uh, I could uh, add the NeuroSky and, and uh, the OpenPCI. I would um, maybe people, uh, this, this community, uh, if, if they have an uh, uh, SDK API, then I would like to add the, the OpenPCI. And yes, the beginning was this nice flow time. Uh, and, and here's that's from the same uh, Kickstarter creators. That's a, a, a sleeping mess with a one channel uh, 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 brain computer interface. So you see <laughs> by now. So that's the idea that we have one uh, um, central. And so you can, doesn't matter uh, which PCI you have, but you can still um, take part of the same research. Here's some screenshots, but that's okay. And here again, you can download it here. And, and as I said, I, I cannot upload, no longer upload it to the Google Play Store. That's very disappointing, you see, because um, now I really, I, I would need uh, some, some happy t people who would like to, uh, because um, to train your mind command, it would take uh, some hours and that's not my focus. My focus is um, I want to uh, train a, a, a sleeping state so that I can fall easily asleep. And so um, I, I'm not going in this direction, but I see that this app really would be very cool to, to, to for, for, for mind states, mind control. And so if I could upload it to the Play Store, then now, yeah, probably some people would try it. But now I re really need some uh, happy guys who download the APK and, and install it on, on there. Uh, Android for Yes, that's here the lateralization of the brain. <laughs> and I can speak about this because you see, um, it's it's a there's a popular uh, uh, psychology where where really uh, you make some f f esoteric assumption on on the brain uh, regions, but it's a bit uh, somehow that calculations. And here, uh, when I was thinking. I did uh, some uh, mathematical uh, uh, 33 uh, multiplied with uh, 17 and, and then uh, subtracted uh, 22 and, and this for the whole 22 minutes. And so this uh, might be um, so not uh, the forehead and the back head. And so you see now I go, can go back here and we have a lot, a lot more data. You see right now I showed you the difference between the forehead where you see here right now the delta is, is um, always higher or behind the ears. And here indeed now the, the alpha waves were higher, but it might be more um, uh, um, successful if you take the left region. You see always uh, the blue, uh, the, the delta higher compared to the right region where in the, where is it? In the sleep mode, uh, in the sleep check section, you see it, these horizontal bars, it's, they get a verge over all sections. And that's very uh, important because um, you see you get distracted and, and, and so one section alone is not enough. It's, it's the, the important thing is to, to take two different sections and, and then try this mind state and then try that mind state and then tra train this mind state and again that mind state. And here now, uh, this is a raging um, over, ah, oh, yeah, we are finished. <laughs> the averaging over all sleep sections and the averaging over all six sections gives you a, a, a nice, um, good information about what the mind state differs from the, the, diff the sink and the sleep. And um, 
another thing you see right um, can we yeah we, we, in the end uh, the end was the sink and but uh, that session i already um, put down the head and so you see you can move here uh, and then you can exclude it because these horizontal bars is only what is shown yeah and and so you here now you see is the right side there was a green really um diff um, so it's alpha higher than uh, in the left side and so you see if you now save uh, then it's these these um lines these levels will be saved to these left channels and if i now click here uh the right uh, then this uh, is going to be in, in the right for the for the right channels and now i can explain this this mind control <laughs> you see if you now go back uh, to your neural feedback and then you have here really uh, some um, the first first uh, numerical approximation the first approximation of these two mind states yeah and now that's a cool thing you can you can can take these and uh, they are all already saved or i think they are saved uh, let's load it and and save them again then they are saved um, to, to disk uh, as i showed you here that's these uh, json files so javascript notation and if i now go back uh here to um to the emotive inside and would here put it on and then not, then i could really do neurofeedback with this first ap approximation huh? so uh, let's go to the graphs again uh, here uh, and and that's a, so you, a step by step you get an even better approximation for for these um, different mind states huh? And, and now let's, as I said, let's try, um, you want to control the wheelchair and you want to move it left or right, you see. And so you make a, f a first, um, you, do, you try for five minutes to sync, for example. And that's uh, what I wanted to show you here with these hemisphere, uh, hemispheres. Uh, yeah, that's scientific research. <coughs> uh, here. Sorry. <laughs> Um, your your body uh, is, is mapped uh, inside the brain. I think it's the, if you think of pushing with your left arm something to the left, uh, then uh, this uh, will be uh, some. I think in the right uh, brain hemisphere. And so, yes, if you have now in the first start, you do not know what what should be the mind control, or the, the, the brain state for left and right. Uh, but then you simply start it and you, you try this uh, like pushing to the left or pushing to the right and then in the end you could again here see uh, if you see some changes and you said oh no it's it's all the first approximation then you can save it and do the feedback again and and, and then try uh, and, and this helps you this, that's about the neural feedback because uh, when you here now look uh, at these um, you know, five minutes uh, then you see here the thinking in the middle and, and, and then it dropped again or here the sleep. So it's your mind always wanders. It's hard really to stay for, for two minutes in the same brain state. And, and therefore it's hard to identify what is this brain state uh, like moving to the left. Huh? Because, um, okay, you are told to think how to push to, le to, to your left, but um, it's not easy because um, you, you think of lots of other things. And, and that's where this neurofeedback comes into place. And when you have this first approximation and you have already uh, some uh, two distinct uh, brain states, then you can use these uh, um, diff uh, distinct uh, um, sections, brain states, as with neurofeedback to uh, get even better thinking of left and right because you get you get told uh, that uh, now stop <laughs> you're no longer thinking uh, um, you're not longer uh, going um, in, in the direction of this brain state you want to achieve uh, and then you can again save it and and and, and try it again and so that's that's what i me meant when i said i would really uh, be happy if someone would uh, <laughs> 
But uh, you see, and that's why uh, Emotive Insight uh, that has two channels for the left hemisphere and two channels for the right hemisphere. So, uh, and, and the top, or whatever is, this is good for, uh, the, the Muse, this is also, has also uh, behind the ears and, uh, and the front head. So, so for the lateral, this lateralization, <laughs> these two would be uh, 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 absolutely okay. And, and so this uh, could help you that these uh, fluctuations inside the section become more and more um, minor, less, and uh, the, uh, the distinction between these two states become more and more apparent. Yeah? And, and of course, uh, you should, uh, let's go back to neurofeedback, there should be, let's say, um, a third, uh, let's call it idle, uh, uh, a third state that which is uh, something like uh, all the same uh, because so um, doesn't matter right now because this can also be trained and if I add this also you see that we have three states and and then you would really switch between three states uh, because only left and right uh, might not be enough there should be a, a, a state uh, when you st really begin and um, did I now destroy uh, this thing, sleep thing? No, it's still there. I did not uh, copy it <laughs> to, to, <coughs> to this graph. And, and, and having this idle state is, uh, is what makes it even, mo even better, you see? Because uh, what you can see... Uh, <laughs> Mostly when uh, even the emotive uh, inside, which um, the best, uh, the epoch with 40 channel and the inside the consumer device, when they um, make a demo of, of brain control, then well, mostly it's a face recognition because the muscles are far easier to, to, to detect than some mind states. <laughs> And that's absolutely stupid because uh, every webcam with a little bit of uh, uh, machine learning can do better face recognition <laughs> than using uh, five, five channels or 40 channels of your head. And the other thing, it's always okay. Yeah, you, you imagine how to make something disappear and, and this is recorded and, and then you can repeat this. Yeah, it's all, but mostly they only uh, demonstrate one <laughs> function. Yeah. And, and as I hear, as you can see, if I go to the uh, 10 seconds uh, average and I've, I do not sum, then you get pure noise. <laughs> so yeah, of course, yeah, if you only have one mind state and um, one control, uh, then you just need to wait <laughs> long enough for this um, event to get triggered. And that's why I always, you see, you have to make two distinct, like left and right. And, and, and the other was this video where there is an exposition and then to, to, to make a car run. You see, it's always only one thing. And, and so you, it's, you see, if you just focus to, to make this car run, well, then your muscles in your face, it's, all the muscles contract. And this will, of course, change your, the, the EEG channels. It's had nothing to do with, with mind waves. <laughs> and it's, it's really, it's, it's a shame, shame, shameful uh, that is these big companies and, and then they make really su such fake, fake uh, demonstrations. And so back with this idle state, um, because uh, what I've seen right now, you just record it and then, okay, you can uh, trigger these events. Uh, but uh, with um, these contexts, every time you put it on, uh, they will be different. And so always you, I, I guess you always have to need to record them again. Yeah, but if you have trained, uh, you see, it's not only identify uh, these uh, left, idle and right, but also to train your uh, consciousness to go into these states. Yeah? And so if you have uh, now this idle state, th then you just, um, it's also here. You see this, here's a warning. Uh, maybe I showed it to you in last, uh, in the previous video, that, um, the recording will only start if there are no warnings, if all the contacts are, are good. Uh, and so you, you could now use this idle state um, to, to start um, the, the mind control. You see, you put it on and, and, and then you will, 
you will not be able to get in the idle state because all the contacts are not good. And then, but it, now the my app could tell you, ah, top channel is not good only because that's missing to to get to the idle state. And if you have trained this idle state, then you just put the thing on, uh, move this because all the contacts are okay, and then you are ready to go. And then you would no longer need to uh, record uh, the left and the right because uh, the system now uh, has seen, okay, this is an idle state and then it's kept directly uh, for the left or right. And uh, maybe there are even more uh, mind controls that we, we, we can achieve. Uh, and so this would really make uh, this uh, mind control uh, usable for, for, for everyday life. You just put it on do your um, trained uh, idle state until the system says, okay, every channel is okay, and then you can start. Huh? And and so here, I hear you already showed it. That's really uh, interesting. There was a scientific research uh, paper where they are uh, analyzing EG signals with mathematical, mathematical equation solving, and there were two different ways uh, to, to solve this. Uh, equ uh, equation and then this this okay it's a 14 channel it's more well, I will <laughs> sometimes you get them for for 100 150 euros so I will try to get one but it's really it's it takes so long to get these uh, 14 channels so and but here you see then they really this was a brain activity so don't know what this is and that's so inspiring they did not do any really scientific work like i <laughs> see that it was with these neurofeedback and the averaging and the going back with the idle state so you see a uh, little physicist little, little physicist here uh, <coughs> uh, they simply i think they took the just uh, the, the app that you get with a uh, with, with a mode of epoch and it, it shows you uh, some brain activity so th whatever this is here they, they say something about yeah gamma active important role in thinking and memory so one might say think that if this is red then well this is a high uh, gamma wave but if you here look uh, what i'm recording is that well this the higher um, frequencies of the gamma beta one are, are really not not that much different so the really things to to make this distinction are really the, rather the, the lower uh, band wave uh, but they, i think they just simply took uh, the app and put the head on and their scientific uh, research was the idea let's take um, math equations and two different methods and here you see that was a Gaussian elimination and it showed that the right um, hemisphere was the most active whereas here the, uh, the brain uh, was a substitution method it was um, both hemisphere and um, as the left hemisphere is usually more for complex calculations but the right hemisphere is for simple uh, decision choosing they uh, um, they are saying that they have proven <laughs> uh, that uh, really uh, this uh, Gaussian elimination, elimination is, is, is a simpler task for, for humans and therefore you see in school to, to what the teachers should, should teach the kid would be well, this is easier to do than the others. Uh, but what I just show you here, that's a nice graph you see you could uh, with these um, um, emotive devices uh, you could um, detect the differences between rest, right hemisphere and left hemisphere. And so, as I said, uh, the body is mapped, for example, the eyes, the, uh, the, the, half, the left half of the, this eye is going, I think, to that brain region. And the left part of, of this eye is also going to this direction, uh, whereas these other halves uh, to the right go to the left region. And, and so people that they, it was this this hemisphere was disconnected, and then we are shown something to the right, and and this uh, as I said this uh, the text uh, um, calculation and the speech uh, um, is mostly to the left. They could not really read this because uh, or it was that time. Uh, so. Uh, it, and, and you, okay, I would like to discuss the data. <laughs> Again, uh, as I said, mostly it's only the muscles. And here I, I now showed you 
uh, that um, if we take both uh, the front and the here also for channel, then uh, while thinking the, the alpha was more prominent while uh, in the sleep, uh, the delta was uh, higher. And so he said, oh yeah, that's really something uh, interesting. But uh, if you here now um, do not sum up and let's go to five minutes. And then here in the beginning, and let's only take the, the, uh, the left side. Then you can see here blue quite, it's about the same, but if you take the right hemisphere or a different here, you see the right uh, hemisphere, it was really still um, about the same. Yeah, so yeah, good contact, but the left hemisphere, and that's where here, that's a bit more difficult here to, to get the left. Then you see that here there was a difference. So here the alpha was for, uh, and oh, that's the front channel. Uh, yeah, okay, the front channel was both the same. And here the right ear also was about the same, but the left ear uh, that was uh, down below. Uh, and, and so, um, okay, maybe it was this left hemisphere, right hemisphere. Uh, but uh, then you can see if you compare to the others, this um, did also started um, in, in, in the sleep section. Uh, but okay, now I said this is a verge over 30 seconds. So if I have a verge over 60 seconds, you see that that is halfway into this sleep section. And so this uh, does not really have to be that it really um, the contact became loose while I was also already in the sleep section. Uh, but uh, and when I go to 30 seconds, then it's a bit left. If I go, okay, then we don't see anything. Um, but I wanted to show you this, that you really, you, uh, you can say, okay, this, um, maybe this last session, either it was uh, when I finally uh, achieved to get into this uh, mind state of thinking. Uh, uh, but um, let's sum over it again. You see, because here that was really, that, that's why uh, the, the thing is now the, the alpha above the delta, because in this last sync section, there was a, a huge difference. And then you might say, uh, uh, better um, skip this last sync section. So you go here uh, and then you only choose these section where you're really confident. Or maybe you remember that uh, my sleep method, I, I, I know when I'm getting into the state that I want to achieve. And so, and then I remember, ah, that was the section where I really was perfect into the, and then you can um, move to this and, and you see here the lines changing. Uh, you see, if it's the last one here, uh, take into the average, then here in the, th the thing is the delta above, uh, the alpha above the delta. And if I now here remove this, well, then <laughs> it's always the delta is, is more, is, is higher than the, the alpha. Uh, and therefore, this is not really proof uh, that um, I did really, uh, this thing did really record two different mind states. Uh, but as I showed you here in the scientific uh, publication, uh, these devices, they, but again, I, I don't know uh, how often they did repeat it. And uh, if they did repeat uh, this and then that, and therefore that's why I'm so proud about this, that here you really, uh, you can go here to, to the new neurofeedback and then you can make two, uh, lots of um, five minutes, two minutes, whatever you like, different sections and then you can repeat them uh, again and again and, and, and uh, you can save them and, and publish them and, uh, and in the last videos, I really, uh, I, I wanted to, uh, I discussed, as I just showed you, okay, here uh, from from sleep to think that it's changing. And if I say, okay, we have 60 seconds, then this really looks like uh, that the sync section was different from the sleep section. Yeah? Uh, but now you see, if I've really average over all sleep sections and all think sections, uh, then it, it, I'm no longer that confident. <laughs> That is really um, um, because I recorded different mind states. But again, this combinations with the neurofeedback uh, so that you can prevent from uh, drifting away and thinking of other things 
uh, that you really uh, can get more better and better results. So after let's say five uh, approximations and you see every session will take at least um, 20 to half a minute. So it's uh, se several hours uh, that you would have to, to spend on really uh, trying to achieve these uh, commands, these mind commands left and right. Uh, but um, if it's possible and um, other scientific research suggests that it is possible, then I think really my app here is, is a, a perfect um, machine to, to define these, these mind controls. And as I said, you do not have to record them again. You just need to put it on, get into the idle state, and then you... We could... I have already audio output, so you see I, I could simply... You could to find some audio messages or some frequency tones or um, some keystrokes and or I could add a Bluetooth interface for, for the Arduino to, so yeah that's really um, took, I think it took quite a long time to, to show you all this and uh, yeah we are still not over and here that uh, I, I was able to compile and run a Bluetooth low energy client and, and you see um, it, it might be possible to uh, get all these other devices uh, to, to write my own a APIs. And that was here. Again, here you can download it uh, on, on my site. And I uh, wanted to show you here these WAV files. And so let's start with here. These are, uh, you see, that's, that's a recording you, you, you just saw. And so these are five, fif, fif, 15 channels, so five channels with five bands. And here you see these are uh, the first channel, I think the left forehead, and these all sum up to 100. I, I did, um, uh, okay, that's a German uh, effect, so to increase, you know, to, to make it 50 decibel uh, stronger because it's a 16 bit, so it does not really match uh, the, what you have as audio output. But um, these also all add to 100%. And so that's what you see in the delta and the alpha were the most prominent. And here then the, the beta, the lower beta of some and the higher beta and gamma. So there's nearly nothing. And yeah, you could play them, but I, I don't think uh, that's very useful. And here that's, uh, you see, that's why I have chosen this wave format because it's basically, it's audio, it's, it's, it's wave signals. So this, uh, I think that was... Uh, uh, the muse for channel and uh, that I have to normalize uh, where, where are we here uh, and then you really uh, you, you get some audio output and it's it's five, 500 hertz <laughs> the sample rate you see and the gamma better you could, might even hear that and here now with uh, software you can do a uh, analyzing a frequency spectrum as uh, fa 50 as, as I do also with, with my app. And here you also you see five hertz, that's uh, I think the, de the delta. And then here five to eight, that's theta. And so if you, sometimes you really see that some some maximum for, for the beta or the gamma. And, and so that's uh, these, uh, uh, sessions that you can record, you can um, even process and analyze with, with, with audio software or with, with, with whatever software you like. Okay, so here, that's it. Again, I'm yeah, a bit proud of, of all the software because this interface and how to make this neural feedback and, and all this, uh, lots of data, these channels. And, and But um, I have several weeks now programming for it and I really, uh, it was disappointing that I cannot put it on the Google Play Store, store to reach a wider audience. So really, if you have uh, emotive insight or an, uh, a muse, then... Uh, Go to my page, download it. You see, I, I need uh, the file uh, file um, access uh, uh, to to save these, these uh, sessions, and I need the location, but that's only for to the Bluetooth low energy. So I will not um, um, 
access your GPS or Wi-Fi location. And so it's, it's still a quite simple program. No advertising, it's for free. And yeah, maybe I really, um, perhaps this OpenPCI uh, community uh, would really like to make a, a small Kickstarter um, to, to reach, uh, to make, get a community that's really um, trying these mind controls. And so maybe with, uh, even here, here's these nice, nice guys that will not give me access to the raw data. <laughs> uh, but uh, you see, if I really uh, do a great job with, with, with mind controls, uh, they might do a version two that really um, uh, supports, um, that I can support and so come back with a Kickstarter, maybe only a software, but maybe uh, I could even be a little hardware if I partner up with some. OpenBCI or, or some other uh, Kickstarter. Okay, bye-bye.